Hello, today we are looking at plotting lines on graphs, particularly for A-level physics, um, and specifically how to plot a line of worst fit. So I think you're all familiar um, when you plot your graph. Obviously, I haven't put any um, units or labels on my axes for this because this is a completely fictitious graph. Purpose only um, is to show you how to plot this line of uh, worst fit. Um, but plotting a line of best fit is fairly straightforward. It goes through um, as many of the points as possible. And because my data is fictitious, it's a lovely straight line with no anomalous points. But how do I plot my line of worst fit? But what I've seen some people do is go from the top of the um, error bar on the final point to the bottom of the error bar on um, the lowest point. Um, now, in theory, on this data, that would work because it's all really even. However, your data that you're collecting in class won't necessarily be even, and data that we collect in, in real life isn't even. So how do we do it? And the idea is you actually, you, just like when you're plotting a line of best fit, you must have your line of worst fit going through all your error bars. Okay, it must go through all your error bars. So I'm actually quite limited with this one on my x, y, um, x error bars as well as my y error bars and I need to make sure that my line of worst fit is going to go through all of them without cutting through in the wrong place it's quite tricky so here we go I will draw in my line of worst fit I've done mine nice and thick so that you can see it you obviously would do yours with a really sharp pencil but hopefully you can see that there's a difference between the line of best fit and the line of worst fit. Now, if you've drawn your graph correctly and you've drawn your line of best fit correctly, then what you should have ended up with is a situation where, so if I do a little sketch here, you have your line of best fit exactly um, correct so that is going to be the correct gradient it's going to give my accurate value okay and if you're doing a calculation that will be useful your line of worst fit should be one side and your line of worst fit and the other way should be the other side obviously drawn with a straight line and hopefully you can see just with my little sketch here the line of best fit should be the gradient of the line of best fit should be in the middle between the gradients of worst fit okay so you have one gradient of worst fit here which is the steepest gradient of worst fit one here which is your shallowest gradient of worst fit if you were to calculate those two gradients and find the midpoint it should equal your line of best fit so what we can use this for is to find the range the absolute range for our gradient. Now we don't have to draw two lines of worst fit and do all that calculation. We can calculate the gradient of the line of best fit and the gradient of one of the lines of worst fit. So I've just used LOBF line of best fit, LOWF line of worst fit, making sure of course that it's going through all your um, error bars. Now, to find the absolute uncertainty, and remember, absolute uncertainty is going to be a, a value in, in terms of the, the gradient. So if this was newtons per meter, the absolute uncertainty in the gradient value would be in newtons per meter. Okay, So the absolute uncertainty is going to equal the difference between the gradient for the line of best fit and the gradient for the line of worst fit. That's going to give you absolute uncertainty and it's going to be plus or minus all of that, either side of the line of best fit. However, it's rare that we use our graphs in A-level physics to just find a gradient and that's the answer. Sometimes, particularly when you get on to doing capacitance, 
we're using those graphs to find a gradient and then we're doing further manipulation of the data in order to discover a particular value for the capacitance, for example. Um, when we're doing that, and because we're then doing a calculation, we need to know the percentage uncertainty in our gradient. Okay, and so to do that, that's going to equal this value here, the difference in the gradient of the line of best fit and the gradient of the line of worst fit, divided by the gradient of the line of best fit. So it's a percentage of that um, actual value and then obviously we multiply that by 100% to get the value. So that's going to then give us the percentage uncertainty in the gradient. And obviously, whatever calculation we then do with our gradient, as long as there isn't an uncertainty in any other value that we need to add on, um, that percentage uncertainty in the gradient will give us the percentage uncertainty in the value that we calculate. So hopefully that's helped. And you can now draw a line of worst fit and calculate the absolute and percentage uncertainty in your gradient.